Welcome back. It's 39 past the hour. Black Rocks Brewery, one of the local favorites around the UP. The popularity continues to grow over Michigan. Bright and early this morning, Ashley Kirkland is live at Black Rocks Brewery Canning and Distribution Center to tell us more. Good morning, Ashley. Good morning, Vicki. They are growing indeed, and they're selling it as fast as they can produce it here. We're at the Black Rocks Brew House distribution site, and right now you're looking at one of their more popular beer drafts, the 51K, which I know is also popular with some people back at the station. We are not going to drink it this early in the morning, but we're going to see with the owners how they actually make it and craft the beers, the process that they go through to do that. They actually are going to go through that process this morning at 10 a.m., so we're going to speak with them at about 6.10, so make sure to tune back in and see how everything is made here at Black Rocks production site. I'll take it back to you for now. Ashley Kirkland reporting live in Marquette TV6 News. We need a picture of you in front of all those cans, Ashley. It looks kind of fun. <laughs> all right, and I'll tell you what. Welcome back nine after the hour. Now, since opening, Black Rock's brew house in Marquette has crafted over 150 different beers. All that variety keeps people very happy. Ashley Kirkland live at their brew house to tell us more about it. Good morning, Ashley. Well, Vicki, they are well over 150 nowadays, but this is where all of the magic happens. We're in the brew house uh, production site. Right now I'm with the co-founder, Dave Manson, and he's going to talk to us a little bit more about how they got started. David, thank you so much for being here. Now, how'd you guys come up with the concept of a brewery? Uh, you know, it was something that Andy and I did as sort of a pastime uh, when we had our previous jobs. And... Um, you know, we kept growing even in that stage as far as doing a five gallons and then 10 gallons. And then eventually we had a situation with our jobs where we were going to be downsized. So we had to do uh, something kind of professional. Uh, and so then we went to a one barrel and then a three barrel and then where we are now. I have to pause for a second. <laughs> do you have a mascot or? No, he works here. Okay, so you normally have a fuzzy animal working in your brew house. Great. So talk to me about, we're in a very critical part of the brewery, and what am I wearing right now? So you're wearing a pair of bibs and some, uh, some, some waterproof boots. This is a, a very wet process. We deal with water and, and general liquids all the time. So you want to make sure that it's, it's something that you're not going to be soaked to the bone at the end of the day. So it's pretty vital. Okay. Well, it's very fashionable as well. Talk to us about the different... Uh, Think containers that you guys have here. What do you store in these, and you know how do how do these factor into the process? So behind us is the the brew house, and this is where all the beer is made. And then once the beer is made, it gets transferred over into the fermentation vessels, okay. and that's when we add the yeast, and it gets converted uh, into an alcoholic beverage. Okay. And how do you guys come up with the different ingredients? You have over a hundred different crafts of beer. How do you come up with these ingredients and crafts? Um, you know, so beer is predominantly three main ingredients, grain, water, and hops. Um, the different recipes that we've done have all been kind of either from our uh, basement brewing when we first started or just over at the uh, 424 North 3rd location, and that's where we kind of started to craft many different recipes. Uh, we're able to try them out with customers, and some of them get move to production and some of them just get to be enjoyed in-house. Okay, so what are some of your more unique and popular different uh, spices or flavors that you've added? Uh, you know, we've done a lot of different things. Coriander, um, you know, one of our current most, you know, recent releases has a little bit of honey and lavender in it. It's a honey lavender wheat. Uh, another popular one that's being produced is uh, coconut brown. It actually has coconut in it. Um, so I think when we had our smaller system, and we're able to brew a lot of different beers, you know, you want to kind of change it up a little right. bit. Well, they all sound like healthy choices with the coconut and lavender. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's, a, it's, it's perfect for breakfast. <laughs> well, we are going to be back a little bit later. We're going to actually join the other co-founder, Andy. He's going to talk to us about the canning process, which they're going to be doing later on in the, in the morning at 10 a.m., but we'll be back with that at 6.43. So t tune back in with us. I'll take it back to you for now, Vicki. Ashley Kirkland reporting live in Marquette, TV6 News. All right, Ashley, giving you two assignments. We need a picture of you in those uh, waiters, and we also need a picture of you with Gizmo. So let's, uh, I want to see those posted on Facebook soon. Welcome back. <laughs> well, if you're a true beer connoisseur or a hops snob, Black Rocks Brewery in Marquette may get the highest grade of them all from you. And TV6's Ashley Kirkland is live at Black Rocks to see where it's all made. Ashley? 
Well, Sam, if anyone is a hop snob, then Black Rocks may likely have something for them. They have a variety of different flavors of beers as well as seasonal uh, beers here. And now we're going to talk to one of the co-founders, Andy Langloy. Andy, you guys are about to start the canning process here in a couple of hours. What does that look like? Uh, we are. Uh, well, right now, James is, is uh, busy over on the other side working at the Bright Tank. He's making sure the beer is carved up and uh, ready to go. And then what we'll do is we'll transfer from the big, uh, the bright tank over there, right, right through the uh, trunk of the canning line. And then you can see we have uh, cans already uh, stocked up, ready okay. to go. We'll be bringing them down uh, the conveyor here, the shaker table. And then we'll run it through a twist rinse. So the can will actually, well, she's panning around here, but I can kind of show you. Do you want to go up there? Okay. So the cans will actually come on down and they'll twist the rinse. And then they'll end up, um, being run down the conveyor here and they'll be purged with CO2 and then they'll be filled. The cap will go on it and then they'll get seamed. Okay. So the can will go in, it'll get pushed in, it'll get seamed and then it'll get rinsed on the top and it'll be uh, hit, with, hit with a dryer yeah. and then we'll put pack techs, these little plastic things that you see on the top of our cans, throw them in cases and put them on pallets and put them in the uh, cooler. Yeah. Sounds like a very intricate process. How many cans do you get to fill, I guess, per, per setting here? Well, we do 35 cans a minute. Okay. We'll probably do, oh, about 460 cases today. Okay. Now, is this, case. is this a daily uh, thing that you guys do? Not yet, no. We're, uh, we're still growing. Uh, right now, we're probably doing two canning runs a week. Okay. We're going to probably start adding a third uh, every other week, so, okay. yeah. And you guys, as we look at some of the uh, different flavors that you have, you have some new seasonal ones. Talk to us about those. We do. Um, we started with our three, our, our three uh, steady brews we have right now is the uh, the 51K, the Coconut Brown, and the Grand Rabbit's Cream Ale. And we just recently launched our first seasonal beer, and it's a honey lavender wheat made with Michigan honey. And uh, we're pretty excited about that one. It's a it's a really refreshing light beer, uh, perfect for the summer. Okay, and so if people are, they, those are some of their favorites, they want to keep those year-round, how can they buy them in bulk? Well, you can go to any of the local stores and you can purchase them. Uh, we are now uh, starting to move downstate a bit. Okay. So we're, we're covered in, in the U, UP and we're going to be uh, starting to you know, penetrate more accounts down in um, lower Michigan. Yeah. So right now, Grand Rapids area, Lansing, uh, Traverse City, Petoskey, Saginaw. We just went into Saginaw. Um, we're not in the Detroit metro area yet, but um, we're not big enough to do it. We'd have to expand a little bit and start making more beer to do that. But, yeah. All right. Well, you never know. And you'll see you, you here on Dancing with the Stars coming yes. up this week. So. It's a big week. I can't lie. I'm a little bit nervous about that. <laughs> oh, you can't be but. nervous, especially when you got Gizmo here. So yeah. I know you'll do great. And everyone, uh, take a look at Gizmo. Your TV6 Morning News will be right back. <laughs>